Hi. Since launching Steam Deck a little over a month ago, we've been adding new features and working hard on software improvements. We're going to highlight some of them in this short video. Recently, we added dual trackpad typing, which lets you type more naturally and quickly than typical on-screen keyboards. You can also use it in desktop mode. In addition to filtering your library, you can now create dynamic collections based on game attributes and tags. Here's a collection of just single player games. From the home screen activity feed, it's now much easier to navigate directly to a game in your library or a friend's game in the Steam store. Also in the library, we added fast scrolling. Got a ton of games and want to play Quake? You can get there fast. We did a lot of work behind the scenes to make the store faster. I mean, we sped it up in this video, but you get the idea. You can now optimize for battery life by reducing your frame rate all the way down to 15 frames per second. Perfect for visual novels, puzzles, and a lot of simulation games. Or you can open up the advanced perf settings, turn on all the stats, uncap your frame rate, and tinker to your heart's content, if you're into that sort of thing. We added progress info while you're formatting a micro SD card. Note that it does not go this fast in real life. There are a bunch of keyboard themes now, so you can pretend you're typing in 1985 or the future. We've refactored the download screen to include a bit more info and also made it easier to read. We added a way for any developer to add a note to their deck verified information. It's a good way for a developer to speak directly to you, the customer, about a game's verification status. When you update your Steam Deck to the latest system software, it now comes with change notes that you can read in place. You can now also report a bug directly from the quick access menu. Very handy. Sliders are 12% fancier now with numerical input and output for things like thumbstick settings. This animation's fun. Oh, and when you're done playing a game, you might get asked to answer questions about how the Steam Deck experience was. With AMD's help, we shipped some Windows device drivers, so you can now install Windows 10 and pretty soon Windows 11. Then you can do Windows stuff. Sometimes it makes sense to set joystick dead zones per game, so we added some pretty deep control over those parameters. You can now also calibrate your dead zone globally, and we added a visualization of that for both left and right thumbsticks. You can also test all of the Steam Deck inputs, including all of its buttons and analog values. It's now possible to individually control the intensity of haptic feedback on both the left and right trackpads. Remember, you can always hold down the Steam button or the quick access menu button to see a handy list of chord commands. We've been working hard to get more and more games through deck verification. We're up to 2,000 titles verified or playable, with more coming every day. We're continuing to collaborate with our development partners to ensure games that include anti-cheat technology play great on deck. We worked with Microsoft to enable xCloud gaming through the Edge browser. Right now, it requires you to jump through some setup hoops, so we plan to make that easier in the future. For more updates, head to steamdeck.com and click on the News tab. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.